Hi everyone, Jackie Edwards here again. Uh, still in Bali, sorry it's been a few days since my last vlog. Um, we've been really, really busy and lots going on and we just had another full day um, with two people speaking. So yeah, it's been really intense, but it's been absolutely amazing. So a little bit of what we learned today. Today, um, this afternoon actually, we had a LinkedIn expert presenting to us on how to really improve our LinkedIn profile, how to make sure we're connecting with the right people, getting our message out there and just building, building, you know, community, building connections, just making sure that we're getting known for what we want to be known for. A little bit, like I talked about before, about, you know, making sure you're, you know, building your brand before someone else does. So a couple of top tips of what we learned. A lot of it was around your profile. So one of the first things is make sure you have a profile picture. And now I know a lot of people don't, don't see the reason or the point of having a LinkedIn profile. And um, maybe you're in a job, you've had the same job for quite a while. So you think, why do I need a LinkedIn profile? Or even if you're a business owner, an entrepreneur, and you think, well, I already have my connections. I go to physical networking meetings. Why do I need to be on LinkedIn? You need to be on LinkedIn. You need to have that digital profile now. And the first thing you need to do when you get on there is have a picture. And you want that picture to be professional. You want it to be a headshot of just you looking directly at the camera and smiling, making sure that it's a professional image that you would want to you know, have on a CV or a resume. This isn't Facebook. You don't want it to be you know, a group shot with all of your friends, you partying at the beach, anything like that. This is your professional place to connect with people. So have a professional photo. Make sure it's you smiling, looking directly at the camera so that you're building a connection with people. So that's the very first thing. You do nothing else on LinkedIn, make sure you have your photo on there. The next most important thing you want to work on after your profile photo is your headline. So this is the next thing that people really look at when they just have a brief glance at your profile. So you want to make it personal. You want to show how you can help people or what you stand for. You know, most people just put, you know, I'm a director, I'm an account manager. That's your job role. That's not who you are. You want it to be something that stands out. And if possible, use a couple of keywords that you want to be known for in your industry. So, for, for example, my profile um, headline says, you know, I inspire property investors and property entrepreneurs to achieve their goals and attain the freedom of their dreams. So that's what my current profile says. And it, it you know, has the keywords, I'm in the property industry, so it talks about property investing and property entrepreneurs, and it tells what I can do and how I can help people. Because again, you want to make those connections. So if I just said, yeah, I'm a director at Jade Property Solutions, that probably doesn't mean a lot to most people. So make sure it really has what you stand for on there and you'll be able to connect a lot better with people and really get them into your group so that they understand what you're doing and how you can help them. Um, a few other things, try to get as much in there um, education-wise, you know, previous job roles, and if they're not really relevant to what you're doing now, keep them short, but everything can add that bit of credibility. And also publishing content. So if you, you know, you have written ebooks, you have written articles, make sure there's links to them on, on your LinkedIn profile so that people can see why you're an expert in your area and what you can do. You know, if you've won any awards, so whether, you know, this is in your job and maybe you've won employee of the month or this is in your business and you've won best small business in your area, make sure that's on your LinkedIn profile because that's going to build your credibility. People want to see those things so that they can begin to know, like, and trust you. So those are just a few top tips on getting your profile up and running and making sure you're out there and visible in the way that you want to be for your community, for your followers, and your potential followers. So there's a lot more that you can do with LinkedIn. I have done previous trainings on using LinkedIn for business and how to drill down and connect directly in with you know, your potential clients and the people that you want to work with. That's quite advanced and too much for just a short five minute video. So I hope that was helpful. And yeah, I'll see you soon with another video. Thank you so much.